Hey guys, it's April and I have a Dollar Tree and Albertsons haul. Some of this was from last night, some of it from this morning, but let's get started. So I did pick up three, two liters of the Coke. My husband loves Coke. I'm not such a fan of it, but my husband and my son are. So we got three of those. They were $1.99 each, but you had to buy three. I also got this four pack of Dr. Pepper with real sugar in the glass bottles. I love Dr. Pepper. I do miss the bite that it used to have. I'm hoping that the sugar makes a difference because I think corn syrup really does affect the taste of things. So this was $3.99 a dollar each, which is pretty good because most of the sodas in glass bottles are $1.25 or more. So I got that. That will last a while. They had their Glade uh, or Glad cling wrap, uh, 200 square feet. These were $2.49 each. They had their dark brown sugar on sale for $1.29, a limit of two per day. So last night I went and I got two of them. And then this morning I went and got two more, but they're already put away. And I'll explain why I went again this morning in just a second. And then the other thing I got at Albertsons was this Crest toothpaste, 4.2 ounces with baking soda and peroxide. It's the whitening formula. Those were a dollar each. And the last thing I got last night at Albertsons is this Jimmy Dean bacon. This was the last package they had. This is normally, um, I think, $6, and it's on sale for $2.99 each. There's a limit of four, and this is a daily coupon, so you can go every day and get four if you want to. So this is why I went last night, was to get the bacon before they didn't have it. Well, my store only had, like I said, the one package left, so I ended up getting this. And then this morning I went to a different Albertsons and they had a bunch of them. So I was able to pick up four more packages. They're already in the freezer. And that's the Applewood and Hickory Smoked that I got. So um, we should be set for bacon. These are 12 ounce packages, so not quite a pound. I don't know if I'm gonna go get any more next week. Maybe I'll get two more, but um, Bacon has gone up so much in price. I was glad to find it for $3, which not a great price, but considering bacon has been in the four to $5 range, I was willing to get this. So that was Albertsons, I believe. And from the Dollar Tree, I picked up this pain reliever ice pack. I do have some ice packs that I've made and they're in the freezer. Uh, they're cloth ones, but if the kids like forget to put them back in the freezer or something, it'll be nice to have this because it's got this little pouch here. You unscrew the cap from it. I don't think I can do it left-handed. Oh, maybe I can. And you'll just fill it up with some ice and then put the cap back on. So that'll be nice to have. Um, I did need another pair of tweezers because I can't find mine. I have no idea where they're at. I'm guessing I will probably find them within the hour after I get this stuff put away. Another thing my kids like are these fruit packages, these frozen fruit packages for smoothies. This is the tropical blend. They really like that. So I just got two of those. I got three packages. 12 ounce packages of pretzels. It's the place we buy them. It seems to be the best price. Um, two of them will literally get hidden because they'll be gone by tomorrow, all three of them, if I don't hide two of them. So I have a few hiding spots and that's where those are going to go. Actually, all three of them might go in that hiding spot. I picked up one box of these plastic sandwich bags. There's 45 in here. I only got one because my husband's going to price them out at Winco and see if we can actually get a better price. But um, sometimes the ones in the grocery store are a little bit of a thicker quality also. So that would, that might end up being good. But I mean, really, we use these for the kids' lunches. I used to make and use reusable bags, but the kids, I think, are a little too old for that now. It's not cool for them to have those. <laughs> Picked up one pound of these pinto beans. I don't like pinto beans, 
but my husband and my daughter do. And I have another pack of these. I don't know if it's the same brand, but I want to try canning pinto beans. Pinto beans are one thing that we buy a lot of. And I thought, well, if I can can these myself, that would be pretty awesome. So I did have to borrow my neighbor's pressure canner because mine is broke, but I'll save that for another video. Next, we got two packages of the Salt 84 Pink Himalayan Salt. I picked up this four pack of Betty Crocker uh, storage containers. These are a cup and a half each. I was hoping for a little bit smaller. What I want to use these for are for my daughter's lunches at school. She brings applesauce, the pre-bought applesauce oh, in the, you know, the little containers. Let me go grab one. These are the applesauce cups that she brings. These are only four ounces, so obviously this is way more. But instead of having to buy these, I think it's cheaper for me to can it or buy the larger package of applesauce and just put these, put some in here and wash them. Then I got some spa soap, refill hand soap that's 32 ounces. I decided to go with the milk and honey this time. I haven't had Purilene in a long time, so I bought one of these. I bought some honey roasted peanuts. That's seven and a half ounces. I also got the Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade. Typically love this lemonade. Since I've cut back sugar and soda and things like that, it sometimes tastes good, but the thing I don't like about this is it's made with high fructose corn syrup. I wish they would just use regular sugar. That's wishful thinking. I have yet to find a good recipe for me to make my own, but maybe that should be on my list this fall. Um, I have two crafty type things I'll share in a second, but I was actually finished shopping and I was going down the pretzel aisle when I came across this Pop Weaver popcorn, microwave popcorn, with six bags in it. Now, if you shop Dollar Tree, you'll know that they sell the three packs of the different, I think it might be Pop Weaver. But this is a six pack, and I haven't seen this at Dollar Tree before that I can remember. But I was wondering if they would be the full size popcorn packs, and it looks like it is. So I grabbed three of these. This gives us 18 bags of popcorn. Now, microwave popcorn isn't the healthiest, I know that, but it is the easiest. But how we make it is I actually take popcorn kernels and put them inside of a paper bag, and I microwave that, and then I melt butter and pour it over that. That's how we usually do. But sometimes this is easier because the kids know how to do this. The last two things I got at Dollar Tree, they have their Christmas stuff out. And I got this cute snowman. I don't need another Christmas decoration, really, that I can think of, but this guy was so cute. It was a choice between this and these little snowman ornaments. It was a pack of maybe six or eight little wooden ones, and I was gonna make a banner, and then I saw this, and I thought, oh, this has to go in the library or maybe in my bedroom. So I got that, and then for a friend, these squirrels don't look that great, actually but they are cute. I think I'm gonna touch them up with a little bit of um, paint, but my friend, free, she feeds the squirrels, so I thought this would be really cute for her to have in, you know what they are? They're salt and pepper shakers. So I don't know if she'll actually use them or not, but that'll be a fun thing to give for Christmas. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's a haul video. <laughs> My husband doesn't understand why I watch these kind of videos, and really sometimes I don't either, but it is fun sharing what I got. If you do live uh, near an Albertsons, um, like I do here in Idaho, the bacon is the, one of the best prices I have seen in a little while. So hope you enjoyed the haul, and I'll see you guys soon.